live from Cleveland, this is Progressive Field. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And today's starting pitcher, Shane Bieber. What do you have on him, Chris? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. If he maintains the same intensity that he has in the first inning and the second inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. Ready to go? Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont Wade Jr. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. All in one now. Swings through that. No ball, two strikes. Struck him out looking. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Michael Conforto will climb in. Grounder off the pitcher. And no chance for him to make the play. Let's just hope he's all right. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you'll wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Man at first with one gone, and now it's Wilmer Flores. And that one fouled off. That's in there. That is strike two. Conforto over at first with one away. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. There's a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. One left for San Francisco, and now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Cleveland, and towing the slab, Logan Webb. Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Jose Ramirez. And a ground ball to first. Knocks it down, but the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Here's Mike Zanino. That one ripped. And it's off the wall. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That Let's start with the good. No, Obviously, no, he put a really nice swing on that pitch and drove it to deep center, but I got to be honest. I'm not sure why he's not at least standing on second base right now, and I can't really speculate if maybe the legs are tight, but, man, how that's not a double is beyond me. Here's Josh Naylor. 
That one is hammered right field. That's back there. And that ball is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Josh Bell at the plate now. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Two down. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Andre. Jimenez. Two outs, space is empty. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. We have a guy after Tommy John surgery changed his arm slot a little bit. He ditched that four seam fastball, went with the sinker, and he here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. He'll touch them all. And they boost their lead. It's 3-0. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, but he squared it up and knew it was gone. Two outs, nobody on. Oscar Gonzalez, the next to hit. And that's ripped into left, base hit. And that extends the inning. Two consecutive base that hits for these guys here. No nice line good. drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed Whoa. through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Lined, and that's a base hit. Gonzalez around second, headed for third. The run scores all the way from first, and it's 4 nothing. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And it's scored position with two away. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Hits the fence. Run comes in from second. It's 5 nothing. And he's got a double. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here comes Gabe Kapler to the mound, and he's going to take the baseball from his starter. Logan Webb won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Your Anthony DiSclafani gets handed the rock out of the pen. San Francisco, number 26, Anthony DiSclafani. Miles Straw digs in for the Guardians. Liner, base hit. Runner holds it third, so even with two outs, they didn't risk it. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Grounded out his first time. And that one wrapped foul. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. 
the 0 1. That's a base hit as a run scores. Fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter so no surprise he put a great swing on it. Here's the catcher Mike Zunino singled and scored his first time. On the ground to third. Flores out of first and Zunino is set down. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Here in Cleveland, here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Mike Yastrzemski, originally drafted by the Orioles, 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. And first offering is fouled off. And a swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. Tyro Estrada to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Bounced up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Oh. Two up, two down. Batting seven. The shortstop. Brandon. Crawford. Here's Crawford now. Open stance on that left side. In there for strike one. And a swing to miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Three. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Giants down in order. Still up against a six nothing deficit. Bottom of the inning, and now it's Josh Naylor. The first baseman. Di Sclafani back to work. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. Another homer, and they tack one on the board. It's 7 0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Hammer, base hit. Oh, that'll make that. you feel good as a hitter the right there. Basement. Got a fastball, oh, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Team Absolutely better. smoked that ball. Here's Andres Jimenez. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. That one is absolutely belted. Banks off the wall. Throw comes in. Runner stops. Second and third. Nobody out. 
Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And up next for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And that one hammered way back there. And gone! A shot to left, and they add to the lead. It's 10-0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing Jacob Junis into the game he has a great slider with tons of movement number 34 Jacob Junis Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, in safely with a double, his second of the day. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So a man aboard, and the batter will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. He doubled home a run in his first A-B. Drilled the left center, way back there, and that is gone. felt good and they add a couple more it's 12 nothing he put a charge into that one that was a lightning swing right there no doubt about it right, that's exactly the pitch he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark Now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Miles Straw. Left field, way back there. To the warning track, makes the catch. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Jose Ramirez. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And out of here! He powers one out to right field, and they tack on to their lead. It's 13-0. There was a cutter away kind of works like a slider you got to stay on it let it travel a little bit and then get your arms extended really good piece of hitting right there one out base is empty Mike Zunino digs in for the Guardians ripped on a line and there's two down Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Line drive caught. The final damage here, they bat around. Ten come to the plate, seven runs on the board. We played two full. 
The Guardians lead it 13 to nothing. On to the third inning. Lead now at the plate, John. Blake Sable. The left fielder, number two. Sable Blake. measures six feet four inches, 215 pounds, and he's usually a catcher, but today starting in left field. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Rosario makes the catch, and there's one down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. So this is really impressive for me. I mean, to go from being a catcher, going out to the outfield, where you've got to be ready to move to your left, right, front, and back at a moment's notice. So good luck to him today. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the now same page right now. So here's Wade now. 0 for 1 after striking out looking to start the game. There's a strike, Wade, in his fourth year, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he was a ninth-round draft pick back in 2015. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Offense held in check there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Guardians on top, 13 to nothing. As we go to the last of the third, and now the DH, Josh Bell. The pitch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Squeezes it, one away. Now back, second baseman. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Jimenez, a former Gold Glove winner, 24 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. And a seed into center, that's a base hit. He was all over that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Jimenez, round second on his way to third. They add on as the run scores all the way from first. It's 14-0. Waste no time there. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Sean Jelly. Number 64, Sean Jelly. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Good contact guy, good defender. Base knock center field. Yastrzemski hustles it back in. Lead runner puts the brakes on, so now it's runners at first and third. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So up next, Ahmed Rosario, third baseman playing on the edge of the grass looking for the sack ball. Line drive, that's a base hit out of the left center field. One run is in. Runner holds it third, so just one across on the play. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. 
Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Miles Straw. Base hit, and a run comes in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now, Jose Ramirez. And a base hit knocks in a run. Back-to-back -back singles. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So first and second with one man gone. And next is the Guardians catcher, Mike Zunino. Fought off foul. Straw over at second. Ramirez at first. One gone. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. Here's the 0-2. Hammers that one. Deep left field. And forget it. Zanino pops one out of here, and they add to their lead. It's 20 to nothing. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. New arm for the Giants, Scott Alexander. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now 54 is Number 54, Scott Alexander. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. That smash towards center. Yastrzemski pulls it down, and there's two away. Now batting the designated hitter. Here's Josh, Josh Bell. Bell. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any now vibration back. in your hands baseman. whatsoever. Oh, Such great. a good feeling. I know that was a ground Three ball, better. but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. And stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. And there's a rocket into the outfield. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. Line drive, Adam in center field. But they score seven times to blow this thing open. On to inning number four. Cleveland's out front, 20 to nothing. Back now at Progressive Field. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Michael Conforto. And the right hater back to work. Yeah, there's the strike. All these Giants, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at bats. And I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. They've gone down on strikes at a high rate today. So it's probably time to simplify the approach and just find ways to put the ball in play.
swing and a miss for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. And here is Wilmer Flores. Struck out swinging his first time. Foul ball there. Deal one. That one fouled off. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And he'll two. Fights it off, he'll see another. That well, one misses. Ball. ball one. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. Here's Jack Peterson. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's in for a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is the third out of the inning. Back here at the ballpark. And the batter now, Stephen Kwan. The left fielder. And a pitch. Line drive. Hauls it in for the out. The batter, number one. Shortstop, Ahmed. Rose Digging in, Ahmed Rosario. On the ground, out to short. Gathers and throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Up next for Cleveland, the center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Miles Straw. That's ripped. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Now You'll often hear the phrase, Third short to it, long okay. through it. And that's a great example Rob of it Buren. right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Back to the top of the lineup, Jose Ramirez digs in now. That to right, Conforto under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. And welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Mike Yastrzemski. Bieber back to work. That one finds the corner. That's strike one. All these Giants, from what we've seen, I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate. Sometimes it's a good thing, but today they're continuing to fall behind in the count, and that's adding a ton of pressure to their offense. Ramirez puts the squeeze well, on that one, the and there's one down. Tyro Estrada. Now here is Tyro Estrada. Grounded out his first time up. And there's a foul ball. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. He goes down looking. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And though not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there.
0 1 gets a check swing. Appeal to third. And he went around. That's ruled a swing. And the 0 1. Cold strike right there. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park. And then at what was it initially? Pac Bell Park. Left hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Welcome back. And here's the catcher, Mike Zunino. And the pitch. What a stop. Throw to first. And very nicely done for the out. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well broken in glove. To have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer, pop back up to the feet, and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. So digging in, Josh Naylor. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That's back. That one is gone. He's done it again. And they add on. It's 21 to 0. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three homer game, man, it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. One down. Josh Bell will hit next. Boots it. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times, guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. Runner on at first with one gone. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. And a base hit up the middle. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. I'm sure he feels now really good about that one. No Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Drilled the left center way back there, and that is gone. His second home run of the game, and they throw three on the board. It's 24 to nothing. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. Number 71, Tyler Rogers. So up next, Stephen Kwan. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning.
And a base hit into right center field. Now he turns and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Relay throw to third. And he's out. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and the guys work so hard to get around first, to get around second, to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. And now, Ahmed Rosario. It's a bullet, but it goes foul. The 0 2 stays alive. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Bangs off the wall. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Stepping up for the Guardians, Miles Straw. That's hard hit on the line. And makes the play, and that's out number three. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Five innings complete. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here in Cleveland, all set for the top of the sixth. And digging in for San Francisco, Blake Sable. Bieber back to work. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was okay, late that time. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. You know, the danger with the slider is leaving it out over the heart of the plate and getting contact on it. If you're going to miss, you want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. Perez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is foul back. Close, but called a ball. Ball two. This one in the air right field. Gonzalez moves under this one. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Now batting. The first baseman. Lamont. So the lineup Wade flips Jr. over. And up next for San Francisco, Lamont Wade Jr. Outfield playing pretty shallow. First pitch just misses. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make one him work a little right. bit harder. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then... Well, we'll hold that thought, as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. The Guardians lead it 24 to nothing. Back now at Progressive Field. Leading off, Jose Ramirez. The third baseman, Jose Ramirez. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. 
You know, these Guardians doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Double-digit hits and zero strikeouts. I don't know which of those is more impressive, but especially in today's game, that's something they can feel very good about. And he deals. That one to first. Wade takes it to the bag. And a quick out number one. The batter. The catcher. Mike. Zunino. Here's a big power threat. Mike Zunino. Rogers. A 6'3 righty. 32 years old. And he was a 10th round pick back in 2013. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. The 01. That one ripped left field. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Sable throws to second. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. His fourth home run of the game, and they boost their lead. It's 26 to 0. This is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game are just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely going to live on in history. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Bell. Well struck right field. And out of here. He leaves the yard to right, and they add a run. It's 27 to nothing. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball player. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Johnny Brebbia. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. On a line out towards center. And there's two away. Now batter, the right fielder, Oscar. Two outs, space is empty. Here's a speed threat, Oscar Gonzalez. Ah, oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Swing and a ball hammered left field, and it's off the wall. Oh, the throw is wild. And he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing error. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Gonzalez coming home. He'll score easily, and the lead continues to grow. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Back-to-back -back base hits. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. 
Man at second here with two away. Ahmed Rosario getting ready to hit. Swing and a base hit. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now here is swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. In comes the runner from third, and they extend their lead. So the Guardians lineup turns over and now Jose Ramirez he has as they like to say light And that should be extra bases. Rosario around third. One run across. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Comes through with the RBI. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. The left-hander on now, Taylor Rogers. And this is a really Number tough spot three. to come into as he Taylor. tries to keep this one close. Rogers. You almost have to forget about the guys in scoring position. They're not going anywhere. Focus on the hitter, getting that one out your team needs from you. And up next for Cleveland, Mike Zunino. Swung on, belted. That's back. And that one is gone. to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side as a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset so two away with nobody on Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians Oh, look at the stop. Over to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. But they put a nine spot up on the board here to open up a big lead. Back here in Cleveland. New Cleveland inning getting started. The batter will be Michael Mike Conforto. Michael Conforto. And here it comes. On the ground to third, Ramirez. Zips it across, one up, one down. Good fastball in on the hands, makes the swing a little defensive, jammed now him up right there. Third baseman, Wilmer. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Next offering is fouled back. The 0-2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count.
Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And fouled off. Lifted in the air, right center field. Brings it in for the third out. Another scoreless inning, and now that's seven shutout frames. Back here at the ballpark, set for the last half of the seventh. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Bell. Josh Bell. pitch and that one lifted in the air center field Yastrzemski makes the grab on the run almost a loud start to the baseman. inning on that first pitch oh, man he's gonna want that one back no doubt now it's the second baseman Andres Jimenez and it may be a long shot but a triple here will give him the cycle That one ripped right center field. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. Estrada relay to third. The tag out. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third. And you talk about a throw on the money, the relay to third. Just a good job all the way around. Now it's the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. There's a swing and a drive. And it hits the fence. And that's a two out double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. That's a laser base hit. And they hold him at third, 90 feet away with two out. The batter, number one, good job, Ahmed. Ahmed Rosario, the next to hit. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Yastrzemski has this one sized up. Makes the catch. And that is that. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. Number five, Mike Yastrzemski. Here comes a pitch. And that's through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's only two. Right hander kicks deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the righty deals. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Caught him looking for the K. A big performance on the mound, lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Estrada, oh, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Hey. Goes down looking. Oh, well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. 
Brandon. Two outs, Crawford. base is empty. Here's the shortstop at the play. Brandon Crawford. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Two outs. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Miles Straw. The center fielder. The pitch. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Yastrzemski under it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Now batting. The third baseman. Okay. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Jose Ramirez. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that so the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill Camilo Doval next to hit Mike Zunino That one's on its way. No question about it. And that one will go. to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side is a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset so one out nobody on and now the first baseman Josh Naylor hard grounder into the outfield for a knock These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Josh Bell digs in for the Guardians. Foul ball. That one pulled foul. Oh, and two now. Ripped to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. That 
gets exactly the pitch he was looking for, crushes it, and hits it out of the ballpark. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's going back. Back some more. And that one is out of here. exactly the pitch he was looking for crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark so in now for Cleveland Oscar Gonzalez that one drilled left field and gone back-to-back home runs and these guys look so dominant right now pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not but I tell you what if this was basketball that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense here's the left fielder Stephen Kwan swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Now it's gonna be Ahmed Rosario. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Go. an excellent swing all the way around and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention got a pitch to drive short to the baseball squared it up and the backspin carried it out of here there you go. and up next for Cleveland Miles Straw Swing and a high fly ball in the air, left field. That one's deep. Gone. is a majestic blast off the bat and even though he hit it pretty well it was anything but a sure thing to get out but today the conditions were right he got just enough of it and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry so the batting order turns over stepping up for the Guardians Jose Ramirez lined and that's a base hit so a man aboard now with one away now batting, catcher, Mike Zuniga. Man at first with one gone, Mike Zunino. Now at the plate. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Wow, 
this is awesome. I mean, a four homer game, they're just so rare, they're so special, and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely going to live on in history. And now it's going to be Josh Naylor. Brush to right, and that one's going to leave the park. Out of here. Home run. Unreal. Absolutely unreal, Bird. I mean, this is an all-time performance right here. Five home runs in a single game, are you kidding me? This is something we're never going to forget. A performance that clearly will go down in history as one of the best ever. And I'm just in awe of what we've seen. And he's getting a standing O for me right now. Josh Bell digs in for the Guardians. That one hammered center field. Yastrzemski going back. Back some more. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. He's in at second with a one out double. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. He hit the ball so well right there, and I really thought it was going to carry out of here, but that's definitely the big part of the yard, and you just really have to get a hold of one to drive it out in that part of the ballpark. But you can't be mad about driving one off the wall. One out, runner at second. Andres Jimenez digs in now. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Now batter. The right fielder. Oscar. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. Swing and a laser off the bat. This looks like extra bases. And now let's see if he goes for it. The run comes in from second, and the lead continues to grow. Cut off, throw to third. He's got the cycle into third with a triple. Some history here, and what a game he's had. Chris, you hit for the cycle, so you know what this is like. It's a really cool thing to accomplish, especially when your team gets the W. And one thing that gets lost in this is that you had at least four hits in a ball game, and not a lot of guys can even say they did that in the course of their career. Now the batter now, Stephen Kwan. That's a base hit, run scores. So digging in, Ahmed Rosario. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Stepping in, in the air right side. Snags it on the run, and that is that. Looks like he's heading back out for the ninth as he'll go for the shutout when we get back. All set for the start of the Lee inning. Now the left fielder, Blake Sable. Fielder, number two, Blake Sable. The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Left hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. Naylor steps on the bag. Now one gone in the ninth. The catcher, number one, Roberto Perez. 
Roberto Perez standing in. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered oh, yeah. differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Wade at the plate with two away, swings through that one. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners off. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And, and a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long. Exactly. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely. So I'm lounging around with my crew just chilling. I'm wearing black and white, but I ain't no villain. When all of a sudden I get this rumbling feeling, it's my stomach it's telling me I need to be grilling. Some hamburgers, you know that big fat and juicy. The ones that be having you licking your lips profusely. And when you take a bite, you no longer feel down. Cause with that taste of perfection in your mouth, you can't frown. Life's so good when you're eating a burger. It's so unhealthy, it's like artery murder. But you don't even care cause it tastes so good. It's like hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. Yum. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac waffle. Hamburger cheeseburger, Big Mac waffle.